Welcome back to my channel. All right, it's summer and one thing we all know that we look for absolutely in summer is the perfect bikini. So today I decided to show you a little bit of my swimsuit collection, especially since I've been a lot here in Bali. I have been <laughs> indulging into bikini shopping as I'm using them quite a lot. Um, these are all brands that you can only find online so this is why I also found it was so interesting is to kind of see the fit and I'll guide you yeah through the fit the sizing and all of that I'll give you a little bit of a quick intro on the brand and yeah just to give you a full-on feel of the pieces that I have and and what they feel and look like and if I would purchase them again and which brand is my favorite so yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's dig into it right away. So the first brand I'm gonna start with is one that I recently discovered, which is Away That Day. Away That Day is a brand that was launched in 2018. And what I absolutely love about this brand is that it has a 360 sustainable approach. So all pieces are made in the heart of London, like in the UK. So it really has an ethical, manufacturing um, all pieces are made of Econil which is a fabric that's made of a hundred percent pre and post consumer waste um, so for example it can be like fishnets that are recuperated in the oceans um, that can you know are very polluting for our oceans but also very harmful for all the species in the ocean so they recuperate that and they're able to make fabric of it which is called Econil and it's something that you will see a lot of brands like bikini brands have been using nowadays so 100% of her pieces are made out of this fabric the pieces are shipped into a biodegradable pouch um, and what I love the most about this brand and I find so important so interesting is that you can send any of your worn down bikini and from any brand and they will give you store credit and they will recycle it so that's really really cool um, the piece I bought from away that day is the Rio top and bottom in the color forest so these is the bottom piece uh, the fabric is extremely luxurious um, see it's double lined so it has a really really nice um, luxurious feel to it it has these little golden accent that you know just make a bikini look a little bit more chic in my opinion uh, I've worn it a lot and they haven't like decolored so that's a good thing um, it's completely customizable uh, you can you know tie the strings around your waist or just tie them normally and then you have the top same here you have these little golden accents and so this top is really cool because you can wear it in many different ways you can wear it in the simple normal way but you can also wear it in a uh, how would you say halter you can tie the strings around your waist and kind of make it a little bit more sexy and cool and you can just really have fun with the style so I thought it was really nice from the two pieces the piece that I love the most was the bottom because the cut is beautiful it gives you like really long legs it is very high on the waist but it's just really really beautiful the coverage is great um, nothing comes out if you see what I mean and the booty is really really nice I mean this is the type that I personally like I don't like thongs but I don't like huge bikinis I bought these two pieces an extra small and I don't regret it um, they do size big so if you're an extra small just take an extra small don't go up this is it for away that day uh, would I repurchase this brand definitely regarding shipping I shipped to Paris didn't pay any tax and duties so that was cool and that's pretty much it and it was quickly shipped so 
no problem around there. Next up, let's go for Tropic of Sea. So Tropic of Sea is a brand launched by Victoria's Secret model Candice Swanepoel. So this is something I think we all know, right? Um, she has a very large collection of swimsuits. I find them super original and different and the colors are really beautiful. So I feel like she did a really, really good job with this brand. Um, it is on the pricier side, but I must say that the quality is good. Um, she does offer a full-on like sustainable collection so like a lot of her like basics are made sustainable well, not made but they're made of a sustainable fabric i've just talked about equinil this is also the fabric she uses to make her sustainable lines which are you know 100 uh, percent recycled from pre or post consumer waste um, and the two pieces I have from her are actually from the sustainable line. I purchased these Tropic of Sea pieces, I'd say at least two or three years ago. And I must say they really last well in time. They haven't moved whatsoever. And I do wear them quite a lot. So very good quality. Um, I have here the South Pacific top which I think that if you look at my Instagram or something like that, you see me wearing this all the time. And the reason why is because it is a bikini, but it looks so beautiful as just like a little crop top on summer. Um, the shape is beautiful. The fabric is kind of, see, it has like a, a little bit of texture. So it's super chic. Um, this is in black, so it's completely like not visible as i have breasts that are more on the smaller side uh, i must say they do put you know them really well out there i'd say um and yeah so i love to wear it as a bikini but also just as a nice crop top if i have you know a beach party a pool party or whatever i i, I really love 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 this piece and then with it i am wearing the sana bottom in this kind of leopard print it's very high-waisted it has these little um tie details on the side and this one is also part of the sustainable line i'm not sure this one is still available on the website but they do have this style in other colors these two pieces i purchased them in extra small the top to me feels really nice and extra small and i'm fine with it but it does feel a little tight so if you feel like you might have like a larger bust than me maybe size up and this one i do regret buying it in extra small and i'll explain why i didn't exchange the size after but i do regret buying it in extra small because it does feel a little tight and i think i would have felt a little bit more comfortable in a small i have purchased other uh, Tropic of Sea pieces that I didn't keep because I didn't really like the color But in them I bought them in extra small and that was perfectly fine So I think you know in Tropic of Sea I'm definitely an extra small but maybe a few styles can run a little smaller So the reason why I didn't exchange the size is that at the time I bought it directly on the Tropic of Sea website and as I live in France I get I have to pay tax and duties and at the time I think these two pieces together cost like 170 euros and I had to pay on top of that, um, I think it was a good 70 euros tax and duties. So that's definitely something to take into account. But I have a tip for you guys. I recently found out that they sell pieces on Revolve and if you live in Europe, you know that Revolve actually ships to Europe free of shipping and free of tax and duties so they do have a good selection of tropic of sea pieces on revolve so make sure to first check their website and then purchase on the tropic of sea website if you really 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 want the piece <laughs> and you're fine to pay tax and duties but yeah make sure to look on revolve first because you'll be saving a lot of money guys last but not least and the one that i have the most pieces of and i think the one you're kind of wondering the most what it looks like in real life because we see it everywhere on instagram it definitely is the swimwear brand that has the coolest pieces the most beautiful prints and colors and some really daring beautiful cuts 
It is, of course, Summer Swim. Summer Swim is a brand made here in Bali. It's made in a family-owned business. Um, they work very closely with their factory and they have been really trying to transition into more sustainable practice. So for their fabrics, uh, they all come from Italy. It's not made of any recycled um, waste, but they do work with a company that has uh, very high sustainable practices they've been really controlling you know water waste and all of that all the pieces are delivered in this reusable pouch uh, it's a brand that i really love for two reasons one it lasts in time like i've been using my bikinis non-stop i wear them all the time they're my go-to when i want something chic and beautiful and just feel good you know on the beach so I have quite some pieces guys. So let's start with the first one that I purchased. So this is the Dolce bottom in green. Um, you have these beautiful details here and this beautiful golden detail right here, which is in the back. Um, and so it gives a really beautiful and sexy look. And then you have also these golden accent right here. What I love about their pieces is that they always have these like golden accents that just makes the piece look really chic. The fabric is absolutely beautiful. The colors are always on point. There is a shine to the fabric that just makes the piece so luxurious. Um, this Dolce bottom is super customizable in terms of sizing because you can just tie it here and then you can just tie it simply or you can tie it around your waist to give it a little bit more of a different feel but here again you just have a beautiful cut that elongates your legs with this piece i'm wearing the lucia top which is this little halter top with this golden accent in the middle uh, you just put it over your head you can play with the ruching on the sides if you just want to make it bigger or smaller on your breasts and then of course in the end of the tie you have this golden accent these two pieces were purchased in extra small which is the uh, size that you know really corresponds for me and gives me the look that i want um, regarding the bottom part i must say that if you would want a little bit more of coverage you could definitely go up a size i think you'd get a little bit more coverage on the sides and as it is customizable with these little strings it doesn't really matter you can just make it tighter so i fell in love with this brand i just felt so beautiful and the fabric felt so luxurious that i went on and bought another piece which is their very famous piece this is the xena top um, it's the halter piece I think you've seen absolutely everywhere. They're kind of the ones that you know made this like type of halter bikinis famous to me. I love this piece. I think it looks so cool. I even use it sometimes like under a transparent top. It gives a great feel. Uh, what's great is that you can use it as a halter, but you can customize it and you know crisscross in the front. But you can also use it as a bandeau so it's so so nice to have a bikini that when you're ready to kind of tan and be at the beach and you don't want tan lines you can just wrap up and have it you know completely disappear in a way um, so this is a great great versatile super versatile piece that you can wear dress up dress down <laughs> i mean wear under a beautiful transparent dress or things like that so this is my go-to piece this top i purchased the mila bottom which is their very simple bottom uh, once again here and here you always will find these golden tips um which you know just brings so much cheapness to a bikini uh here again you can customize it uh, you can tie it around the waist or just tie it normally simply uh, it's a beautiful piece. It's lined so it just gives this chic effect when bikinis are lined I always look for lined doubly lined bikini. So it's the same fabric inside and out um, It just gives a more sturdiness and a more like chic look. I have these same two references in the color chili which is their new type of like red orange color as I said 
they always nail colors, right? Like a red piece is not something I'm attracted to, but when I saw this color, which is kind of orange and it just, you know, it makes a tan look good, you look good. It looks beautiful on like a blue background. So like a C type of background. Regarding sizing, these two, I got them an extra small. And on the other color, because it was, I actually purchased it for my sister, the bottom part is an extra small, but the upper part, the, the top part is an S. And I was always wondering if I was maybe an S because it kind of felt like sometimes my breasts were going to escape. But as I have, you know, smaller breasts, I did like the fact that it makes them look really plumped. I'd say. So this is the difference between an S and an extra small on my breasts. So you will see on camera now. I just wanted to show you guys the two sizes next to each other because it does give a different feel and it really depends on what look you want to go for. So I could definitely wear both. The small didn't feel big on me, but I don't know. I just prefer the extra small kind of look last piece and this is the one you can see in my new sepanita vlog i will link it down below it's the sadie bottom which is a new reference at uh, summer swim and the riley top which is also a new reference at summer swim like a new style um they are both purchased an extra small this for me is the right size because as they are not customizable at all as it's not ties i would have not gone up a size i like it that it hugs well my body and you know it just make my breasts look plump as i said here again you have the back part has a golden accent this bikini what's nice is that you can take the strap off completely and so it becomes once again a little bandeau piece which is so practical to tan when you're at the beach and it looks really really nice also so i love having a super versatile piece color once again is so so beautiful and looks amazing on pictures and then what i have to say about shipping so at the time summer swim used to ship uh, within Europe to Europe, so we didn't have any tax and duties, but recently they changed their warehouse location um, I think it's in the US and Australia or something like that. So You pay tax and duties and that's making me so sad um, It just makes the purchase kind of complicated because uh, we recently purchased a piece So it was the top and the bottom in Chile. So it was around 140 euros and we had to pay 60 euros tax and duties so that's something you should be aware of we never know because you know the the website don't ever tell you what's the amount that you might pay is it worth it yes i mean these are my favorite bikinis of all time this is it guys this is the end of my swimsuit collection i hope you enjoyed this type of video i think you know it's so hard to buy pieces online so whatever i have that i purchased online i like to show it to you guys and show the fit so that you can have a better shopping experience and once again thank you so much for watching thank you for all of your support lately um it's really been helping me keeping on filming it keeps me going um so yeah thank you so much for watching have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you are and i'll catch you guys on my next video bye guys